All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to post from Instagram to TikTok or from TikTok to Instagram because you are creating that same style of content. Reels and TikToks are basically the same. So how can you make that work a little bit easier for you and not have to constantly be downloading, re-uploading, et cetera? The key to this is repurpose.io and I'm going to share a link with this in the corner for you that'll get you whatever their best deal is right now. It's usually about $20 a month and it is such a wonderful platform, not only for Instagram to TikTok, but for a lot of other social media platforms and other platforms like here, I'm just going to show you all these different platforms. You can connect to each other, but I know you're here specifically for like Instagram reels to TikTok. So we'll start with that. So first you're going to go into connections and add your connections. It's really easy. You're basically just going to log into each one and choose like for Facebook, I've chosen a page and all the groups that I monitor and all of those things. And you can connect anything that you want here. And then you'll go to your workflows and you want to set it up. So we're specifically talking about like reels to TikTok or TikTok to reels. So I'm going to show you how to create a workflow that's TikTok to reels, which is generally the best way to do this because TikTok has some slight limitations. So if you're posting from Reels to TikTok, um, you might have some slight limitations and a little bit more work to do. And then the second thing you'll do is create a workflow. I'm gonna show you how to go from TikTok to Instagram, and then I'll show you um, how you can do it the other way. This way is a little easier for reasons I'll show you in a second. So you're gonna choose your source. My source is going to be TikTok and then I want it to upload the video, full video. And my destination is going to be Instagram and you can choose like reels or feed here. I'm just going to choose reels because those are the type of videos that I'm going to be posting on TikTok. All right. So that's this workflow right here. You can see there's 20 pieces of content, but as we kind of refresh, it's going to load everything that I've ever posted on TikTok. So now we have 376 pieces of content and you can view that right here. So these are all of the different TikToks I've ever, ever posted. Now what you can do is publish these manually. So if you click publish, you have some options like with the captions, you can get subtitles, you can choose a thumbnail, etc. And then from here you can publish or schedule. Now this is all manual. If you turn on auto, it's going to automatically do this. And you'll see the only limitation right here is Instagram Reels only supports videos of 15 minutes or less, but that's good because you're not posting those on TikTok anyway. Um, so the big thing is if you go to auto, just make sure you choose only content published on this date or newer and not all my existing content. So if you choose all my existing content, then it's going to try to automatically upload all 376 of these videos to Instagram immediately. And that's going to be crazy and it's going to take forever and it's going to just muck up your feet so bad. Um, so I would recommend you know, turning on auto for this content or newer, and then kind of manually going back through and posting things from the past. If you are starting a brand new Instagram account and you want to have an archive, sure do it. But just if you have 376, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna be tough. <laughs> so this workflow is really easy. There's not very many caveats that you have to take into account here. And then there's a few settings that you can change. So if you want to like resize the video a little bit, um, you can do that. You can use some templates to change other things. You can burn subtitles and you can do like an intro and outro or fade out. And then one thing that's cool is excluding or only including videos that contain specific hashtags. So if you don't want something about your dog to post to Instagram, you can just, you know, hashtag that video dog and you can put that here and it will exclude any of the videos containing hashtag dogs. I'll show you another great use for this on this platform in a minute. Um, and then you can also like remove the hashtags. You probably don't want to do that if you're posting to Instagram. Um, and then you can add text either before or after your description. So if you have specific hashtags that you want to use on Instagram that you're not using on TikTok, this would be a great place to just put after description, put all of those hashtags there. And then every time I repost to Instagram, it will add all of those tags. And then of course you can select these two options as well. Now, why did I mention you should potentially go from TikTok to Instagram Reels? I'm also going to show you like that is not what I do. I have this auto turned on from Reels to TikTok. So the power of this platform is you can use a lot of different social media platforms. Uh, so I have it connected to YouTube Shorts, my Drive folder, F uh, Facebook Reels, Pinterest, um, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, etc. So there's just a lot of different things that we're doing here. And I prefer to start with the place that you're most comfortable. So I am most comfortable with Instagram. That's why I decided to start with Instagram on here. 
And so you might be asking, why didn't I just show you how to do Instagram Reels to TikTok? It's basically the same setup for the workflow that we just did, um, but TikTok has a couple of caveats and you'll see that when you go into view content. So Repurpose will only upload videos 60 seconds max to your TikTok account. So I try to keep all of my Reels under 60 seconds in order to make sure they go. You'll see this error right here is because this video is longer than 60 seconds. Um, this video was important enough to me that it was worth, you know, downloading it, re-uploading it to TikTok to get those extra 20 seconds, but it's not always um, going to be the case there. So try and keep those below 59 seconds. You don't have that limitation if you're going the other way from TikTok to Instagram. And then you'll also need to finalize the publishing of your video using the TikTok mobile app. This is if you're going to TikTok from anywhere, as far as I understand. So these two are uploaded and in TikTok, it will say repurpose has uploaded your video. I click on it. I can do any edits that I want to do in TikTok. Typically, I just add the native captions there and then I post it from there. It basically creates a draft for you, um, but it doesn't actually post that for you. Whereas if you go the other way, if you go from TikTok to Instagram Reels, it's capable of actually posting for you and it's not going to have that limit of 60 seconds. Remember, we saw that limit here of 15 minutes, which is just much more lenient. This works for me because I prefer to just start on Reels and on Instagram so much and I really... I just love that platform. It's like home to me. So I start with reels and go out to all these other different platforms. If you're just using this for Instagram to, to TikTok, I would definitely start on TikTok. And some people like that editing platform better, which is great. You can see I previously did have it set up where I was starting on TikTok, but I decided to rework everything to be starting on Instagram just because I prefer that platform. So yes, you're here to talk about Instagram to TikTok or vice versa, but this platform can do so much more for you. And I hope that you'll take advantage of even more of this. I'll show you all the connections you can use again. Um, I'm not even using half of these and it's really, really amazing. You can even convert video to audio if you're doing a podcast. Um, there's so many different things that you can do and I hope you'll play with all the different workflows, all the different connections, and then the settings within each workflow are gonna be slightly different depending on the platform you're posting from and the platform you're posting to. So the possibilities are endless. I hope you love it. At the very least, definitely set up that TikTok to Instagram Reels connection so that you can take advantage of all the work you're doing on TikTok on Instagram as well. Now, check out the link in the description to get repurpose.io and I hope you'll let me know if you have questions or if you try it out and what you think of it. Um, feel free to comment below and check out some of our other videos for small business owners while you're here. Thanks.